Alright, so it's Tuesday, which also means it's Wii U's day, because cl clever naming conventions. Uh, that means I'm going to be playing a Wii U game today, out of my complete North American collection of Wii U games. Uh, usually stuff I haven't played yet, but like, sometimes I'll play stuff I've already played. Um, this week I chose Tank Tank Tank, which is a game I've yet to play. I'm pretty sure this is like a near launch title. Uh, copyright 2012, so yeah, it was basically a launch title. Um, I don't know much about it. Uh, I heard it was really mediocre, but I'm really curious about it. So we're gonna just put my name in here and play and see what's up. Oh, like a camera? I don't want my face in the video. So we're gonna... You know what? Let's just make the, um... The face... Uh, first, we're gonna get a penguin, because my, my Twitch thing is a penguin, right? <laughs> and we're gonna frame my complete Wii U collection. There we go. Right there. Bam. You've got, like, a little spicy pick of uh, that sweet, sweet figure collection I got going on. Because why not? <laughs> but yeah, let's try this game out. I'm curious about it. Last episode of We Use Day, I did Watch Dogs. I did some editing. We'll see if I do, like, any editing for this one. I'm really tired today. Take a picture for my support tank. Uh, you know what? I got it. I got this. Let's do... Uh, a Pokemon book, right? Easy. Well, let's make the Pokemon book a clown. Perfect. Excellent, even. This is like already like really snazzy. Cool, man. Nice to meet you, Alex. Welcome to our task force. My name is Mikasa, your mission operator. And I'm your partner, Nagato, who also has the same exact voice, coincidentally. I'll be counting on you. From here on out, you'll be going on many missions with Commander Nagato. Our enemies are strong, but I know we can take them if we work together. Excellent. You know, I'm like a top-tier voice actor here. Okay, so what we got? We got first attack. I guess we're just being a basic hey, tank. Go. Let's go for it. And we're fighting spiders. Okay. We had no idea, like, what to expect with this game. Like, at all. I think I saw a gameplay before. There was a uh, YouTube channel I used to watch called Wii Viewer. And I think he covered this game, and I think that's the only time I've ever actually watched it. And I kind of knew, like, I wanted it, because it sounded really cool now. Obviously, I had the name Tank Tank Tank, so, like, how can you not like that? Otherwise, I don't know like what we're uh, what we're in for here. Okay, easy to play. Re that that was self-explanatory. Um. Okay, the aiming's weird. It kind of like locks on the stuff, but like it'll like sh it'll just kind of like aim the cannon like directly up, and it's awkward. You know what this is? This reminds me of, like, EDF, uh, Earth Defense Force, like, with tanks right now. Nowhere near as polished as, like, EDF. It's kind of cute, though. I just wish I had, like, more control of the aim? It seems like every button does the same thing, by the way. Like, all, uh, all four shoulder buttons, so, like, uh, both triggers and both bumper buttons all shoot. Yeah, like, looks like we got uh, power ups on the field. Okay. Very, very basic game. Okay. And we're time we gotta kill everything. Alright, that's easy enough. It's not bad. 
Uh, it's really, I don't know, like, I like the colors on it. Like, it's obviously, like, not, like, a very graphically advanced game, but, I mean, it's a 2012 Wii U game. Uh, the gamepad right now is used as a speedometer and an attackometer. So it's worthless. You either go in no speed or you go in all speed. So, like, okay. That seems to be, like, the, that seems to be the only use for it. Unless I missed something. Good job. How are you feeling? Seems like you're getting the hang of it. It's important to defeat enemies closest to you when there are a lot of them. That way, they won't be able to surround you as easily. Remember that from now on. Okay, then. Three-headed dragon. Let's go for it. Select your tank. Okay, let's go. But yeah, so far, so good. Uh, really basic. I'm assuming this had, like, co-op in it? Maybe? It had four-player. Versus modes up to four player, campaign and co-op missions. And my Kong mode, become the monster and fight other tanks. Okay. So a few different modes. I'm going to assume single player is probably like the worst way to play this game, just judging by that. Considering you, know, you always have like an AI kind of companion with you. This feels like it was kind of like made for the arcades. Failed to rescue my teammate? I don't know how I'm supposed to save him. So looks like this game explains nothing, but he's already respawned, so it's fine. There we go. They're also very insistent that my normal weapon will have no effect. But I'll have you know, uh... My, my beautiful penguin, that's also my complete Wii U collection uh, there in the health bar, 100% knows what's up, knows what's going on, gonna make sure everything's fine. Okay, so we just mash buttons and we escape. Okay. Easy. So far, it doesn't really seem like there's much to this. It'll probably get like a little bit more like more deep in a way, I'm going to assume. As the game advances, but like right now, like control wise and mechanic wise, it seems very basic. Very, very basic. It's really cool though. This feels like it's just like a fun little time waster. Like not like a game you're gonna like want to spend a lot of time on. But like early impressions are like just a fun little time waster. Like, I can't imagine, like, this is a very, very, like, you know, uh, like, long game, either. So my question is, I wonder, um, I think I already said, like, I wonder, like, how long this game is. I just can't imagine it being that long. Yeah, so far it's like inoffensive. But like every button shoots. I just noticed like all four face buttons also shoot. Oh, and I have three lives? Oh. Oh, I just realized there's a life counter. I don't even need to be like that careful yet. Uh, careful yet. Got him. Okay, so he should be dead. Should be. <laughs> there we go. Wait, I'm dead. There we go. Yeah, not bad. I got it like a whole D rank as well. I'm assuming like the more I played, like the more stuff I unlock, and the more stuff I unlock, the uh the better things are. Uh, oh wait, is this just like a direct upgrade for everything? Oh, I felt like I'd pick one of the three. Okay, I guess I got like three upgrades for like the pickup weapons. Okay. We got a metal, we got a new tank. Cool, man. 
Great job out there, Alex. Way to go. You turned those baddies into scrap metal. Hey, did you notice that red dragon came uh, at you with many kinds of attacks? The enemy got gradually stronger as you were fighting it. In future battles, be sure to watch out when an enemy is getting low on health. Like, fair enough. Makes sense. That's, that's typical boss battle design. Okay, we're gonna try this tank. I'm very curious about it. Let's see what it is. Okay, let's go. Manta spot, huh? Okay. Giant mantises are wreaking havoc along the coastal area. The citizens have been evacuated. Bring the enemy down. Move out! Keep firing! Cool, so we have 50 of them to get. Go, 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 go. So what's the gimmick of this tank? Like, why would I want to run this over the other one? They didn't really explain that. I think that's, like, the number one problem this game has, is it doesn't, like, really explain what's going on. And when I start up the game, I had single-player story or, like, multiplayer to choose from. If I recall correctly. Like, there's, like, no tutorial. Granted, you don't really need one, considering the control is quite literally left analog stick. Right analog stick to kind of, like, just spin, if you want to. Actually, no, not even. Right analog stick and left analog stick do the same thing. Uh, same movement. And, like, the buttons. Every button just shoots. So it's very easy. Like, it, it'd be tough to, like, get confused here. Okay. Maybe that's like why they just kind of said no tutorial, because you literally cannot screw this up. Even the D-pad steers it fine. Okay. So it seems like most of the difficulty of this game is going to come from the time crunch. And even that so far isn't too bad. Cool. That tank didn't feel different at all, by the way. That felt identical. Interesting. Good job out there. Looks like fierce attacks of Mantis Bob made this a tough mission. It's starting to feel like we're seeing more and more enemies. It worries me. Well, as long as the Commander Nagato and Alex are here, we'll be safe. But be sure to train. Keep fighting enemies and you'll improve your skills. Also, I'm gonna make the uh, executive decision right now. I don't think I'm gonna like. I'm gonna edit this. There's really no reason to. It looks like, at all. What? Why bother? You kind of like get. I don't. I don't know okay, if there's like really go. any need. This all flows together really well. There's like really like no lulls in anything. It's just kind of like nonstop shoot stuff. Screw it. I'm gonna be lazy for this video. Cause we used it. I was playing like on playing on like editing them like here and there and just kind of like making the videos flow very well. This I don't really feel a need. I feel like after 25-30 minutes, like, we're gonna have the point. <laughs> but yeah, no, this isn't bad. Like, this is actually, like, quite enjoyable. I would not have wanted to spend $50 on this, and when I, like, you know, if I bought a Wii U, like, around launch. Because when Wii U came out, there wasn't much to play. There really wasn't. There was, like... Uh, Mario Brothers U, which was in a, which was fine, which was fair. It was a good game. Um, there was Zombie U, which I actually want to do for Wii U's day because I've never actually played Zombie U. So there was that. Uh, and then some stuff kind of came out earlier, you know, in the Wii U's life, like Game and Wario came out. Um, oh god. Uh, Kirby Rainbow Curse kind of came out, like, early in lifespan, stuff like that. But yeah, like, the early years of the Wii U, like, were really rough. And if this is, like, one of my only options after buying the console, like, I could see myself being, like, a little bit upset, because I haven't heard much great about this. But, like, to me, it's really inoffensive. But it definitely feels more like a game you get for, like, $15, 10 15 bucks, like, on Steam or, like, you know, the eShop or something. And not, like, physically on a disc by, like, a major publisher.
Oh no. Reloading. This battle's pretty fun though. I don't know how I just blew up, but I, I did. I'm hurting. Oh boy. Okay, mini missile rack should hopefully do some good. S I'm dead. <laughs> I was like, maybe that'll do some good stuff. And when I saw like the uh, the mission too, I kind of like assumed I was gonna have like an actual boss battle here. And this is just big enemies, but I don't really call this boss battle. Okay. This boy is dead. I wish there was like a health bar I could look at. Got it. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Okay. I got a C rank? My god, I'm a god at this game. I'm so good. New tank. Oh, I want to try that. Okay. Cool, man. Good job out there. One exciting battle. You put up quite a fight going head to head with Armor Kong. All the citizens were reported safe once again. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I'm counting on you, Alex. Okay. Select a mission. And now we're on out of control. Let's try this new tank. I'm curious, how many missions is this? I'm gonna look it up. Oh, this was an arcade game. I was like, this feels like such an arcade game. Because it is. Alright. I'm just like really curious, like how many missions it is? This game has like a 45 on Metacritic though. And I can't imagine it's like worth that much. Or rather, not, not like, it shouldn't be, like, that hated. I just wish I knew how many missions there were. Okay. okay let's go. It's looking like maybe 40 is, like, the most I'm seeing kind of listed. But there's, like, no guide that, like, really confirms it to me. But if it's it's 40 missions and it kind of goes in this pace all the way through, the game would be like three hours long. Assuming the difficulty remains rather steady. Which is fine for what this is. But definitely not like $50 worth. Okay. I feel like I'm thoroughly entertained by it. I don't know. I'm not like really saying much of value here. But I really do think for like what this game is, it could it could be worse. It could be better. But it's just to me is like kind of games like at its like purest, or not purest, but like most basic. But like most basic done like halfway decently. Because the thing is like when you play a 3D game like this and you know you could actually remap everything to an NES controller and still have a leftover button. Uh, that's pretty cool, because, like, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, screw it, we can actually map this entire game to an Atari 2600 joystick. Without a problem. Why even go for, like, NES? Like, this could actually be done, like, on an Atari 2600, like, joystick. I mean, that's really cool for, like, a modern game. Being that simplistic. Yet still looking as flashy as it is, and having, like, the level of gameplay that it does. Because, like, you know, you do gotta dodge, like, you do gotta, like, understand the movement, like, you do have to like, kind of, like, you know, go across the map, get, like, power-ups, do stuff quickly. Keep an eye on stuff, like, your health and whatnot. Like, it's not like it's... it's brainless. I mean, it's pretty brainless, but, like, it's not that bad. Cool. 
So I think next should be a uh, boss battle-y sort of thing. So maybe we'll just kind of do that and check out of this game. Another job well done. Hey, do you notice the red enemies? They're the leaders of the group. They store a lot of energy, so it'll make a big explosion when you destroy them. Use that explosion to defeat all the surrounding enemies in one blow. If you can do that, you'll be a full-fledged pilot. Give it a shot sometime. Okay. I don't know what the story is here, but uh, there's something. Oh cool, now we kill the Phoenix? Let's go for it. Select your tank. How many medals do I need for like the best tank? Oh my god, there's a lot of tanks. 500 medals for the last one. Holy crap. Okay, let's go. And none of them feel different. I was thinking like none of these feel different. So I'm just kind of surprised by that. All right. We have detected a giant flying monster. It's cool, man. For us. Bring it down. I like, like this is kind of a game like I actually wouldn't mind playing more of. Maybe not for like another like Wii U's day, but like maybe like on my stream or just kind of like off stream or maybe just like for a. Kind of like another like few like small videos. Maybe like I'd actually do a complete playthrough of this. Just see all the missions. No way I'd go for all the medals. Like screw that. But I actually dig this like a lot. I like very very basic games. I don't know if that's weird. Probably that's not weird. I don't even like know why I'd question that. It's not weird. But um. I just like games that are just very simple and do things well and have like a very nice visual style to it. And I think this game has a really, really nice visual style. And I kind of wish this game was released on another console or like PC uh, because I feel like this game could have done well. Uh, like off the Wii U. Because it's like such a limited market on Wii U, and obviously it was also an arcade game, just judging by like what I looked up. Um, and it's like, this game kind of got uh, kind of screwed by the platforms it was put on. Which is so unfortunate. I like I actually really like this. The more I play it, like the more I kind of like it. It's fun. Right, so the boss should be getting kind of tricky now, I think. Okay, he's basically dead. You're basically out of health, sir. You are basically out of health. You are one dead griffin. How is it not dead? There we go. Ten seconds left on the clock. Cool, oh, man. Just enough time. An easy D rank as well. This could be really cool in co-op. This is really growing on me. I like it. Great job out there. Wasn't so easy fighting an airborne enemy now, was it? It kind of was. See how the enemy stopped moving when it was launching an attack? When that happens, evade the enemy's attack and hit him with a strong weapon. Or try using weapons like missiles with homing capabilities. Weapons that stop enemy movement can also deal lots of damage. You should give all sorts of weapons a try. There are like two on the field, sir, but you know what? Uh, whatever. Select a mission. Yeah, we're gonna kinda like call it on this game here, I think. That was like 25-ish minutes of tank tank tank, and you know what? It's really fun. I like it. Um I don't think it really deserves this titles and stuff you can put on too. Cool. I don't think it deserves like a wait, how'd you get the penguin? I want that penguin. Um I don't think it like deserves like as much hate as it seems to, uh, there's a penguin rocket, I need that. Um, I don't think it deserves, like, that much hate. 
it looks like the review scores like really bash this this was just fun like this is just like pure wholesome video game fun although it does look like it's very light on content which is probably the biggest reason why it probably wasn't so loved 50 bucks very light on content i guess would do it but the content that's here and like the gameplay that is here seems really really good obviously i only have 20 minutes in it like i can't fully judge it off of 20 minutes this is kind of like my kind of thing i love games like this what were the settings 24 minutes play time played story mission i could change my picture okay but yeah we're gonna call it there that was a fun little wii use day checking out tank 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 maybe i'll make like videos or like stream this sometime soon uh, or do more videos or stream it sometime soon. I don't know. But I was enjoying myself here. That's good. Uh, but I'll catch you guys again for the next video. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do Wii U videos every Tuesday for Wii U's day. Uh, I'm probably going to mainly do edited videos. But this game just kind of was intuitive for like just 25 minutes uncut. There really isn't much to edit together here. So we kind of went uh, lazy raw footage. Which perfect for me because I'm really tired. But uh, I'll catch you guys again for the next video. Tank, tank, tank again. Really fun. Toodles, y'all.